Hey guys, welcome to To See or Not To See, and today we're going to be talking about Star Wars The Force Awakens. Finally! Yeah! So, yeah, for like this review, you know, I'm uh, with my friend here, Joseph from Hoop Studio. We're over at his, over at his place, um, shooting it because like I live way too far away and my parents don't like it when other people come, you know, home to my basement. Yeah. So... Yeah, we're here talking about The Force Awakens. Like, the reason I started a YouTube channel. Man, am I excited. I mean, just we're going to keep everything, like, spoilers. Absolutely no spoilers in this video. We'll post a, I will post a uh, spoiler talk in a couple days. But, like, as of right now, it's like there's no spoilers. So, we're just going to try to talk talk about this a little bit. Like, we're not even going to do a plot summary. Not even going to do a plot summary like I usually do, like a basic plot summary. So... Yeah. Let's just... Yeah, we just saw the movie last night. We're going on about five hours of sleep right now. Oh, man, yeah. That's, uh, I think, less than five hours. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably less uh, than that. We saw it around 11 o'clock last night, and we didn't get back till about five in the morning, so... It was... But it was totally I, worth it. It was day. worth it. I mean, this is a movie that... It, it lived up to the hype. It, it really did. Like... Every movie, like, you can nitpick it because it's a Star Wars movie, but overall, like, it lived up to the hype. I'm happy with it. You know, like, the characters were great. Um, you have anything to say about the characters? Oh, uh, yeah. A lot, of, I, a lot of people were may have been worried about the new characters because they're not very well-known actors. And no. pe people thought maybe they might not be as, as good as, say, Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford were in the original films. But... They are. Trust me. Like yeah. they, every every character, every actor in this movie, like lived up to their role, like more than I even expected to. Yeah. To in the first place. Ray is really good. She has that kind of Luke Skywalker story from A New Hope. Um, you know who else is it? Finn. He was really good. I love. He his was story. the big surprise. Yeah, he was a surprise because like I've been waiting to see a, a story like that for a while of like you know like the one that he had. So like I that was really nice. I really liked his story. Um. Oscar, uh, Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac has Poe. Like he was my favorite of the new characters. I really liked him. Um, wanted to see more of him in the movie, but like he was really good. Um, he's one of those guys that you just like. Yeah. I want to be best friends with that dude. Like, yeah, I want to have a beer with that guy. <laughs> uh, him and Finn have some really good chemistry. You'll get to see that in the movie. Yeah, and then they're like a very Han Solo, Luke Skywalker type of friendship. Yeah. Uh, I really liked uh kylo ren he was a good villain i thought he was pretty good um he's not darth vader i mean he doesn't have by, that by, not by a large yeah no. like they try to ha make him have that like intimidating presence he, i just don't get it from him but he was still a really good villain good character you know and he had so he had some depth behind it yeah and when, I, when we say he's not darth vader we're not saying that in a negative aspect we're saying he's much different yeah like this is he, this is a much more desperate character like that is desperate to prove himself and you'll understand what we mean by that once you watch the film but you'll be you'll be very impressed with what you see in my opinion yeah and then uh for the original trilogy cast i mean um han solo was great i mean harrison ford like he really stood out as as you know he wasn't just being old Harrison Ford. He yeah, was, like he was in the last Indiana Jones movie, unfortunately. Yeah, like he was, um, he was Han Solo. He was an older, wiser Han Solo. Um, I really liked him in the movie. Carrie Fisher was great. Now she's, gen she's not Princess Leia anymore. She's General Organa. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see like, you can see, it's like kind of like what they did in Star Trek II Wrath of Khan that like they, they aged everybody. Like how Captain Kirk went from Captain to Admiral. Like now like everybody feels like they have aged yes. and they've been through things. Yeah, like um, you get like Han is definitely more like more wise and experienced, but the humor is still there. And, and yeah. this, the thing that's gonna surprise me about this film, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, there's some good humor. Like that's it was so jarring to see like good special effects and everything, like real effects too. Like there's lots of practical effects in this movie. It's got that perfect balance of CGI and practical effects that the prequels really should have had. Um, uh, well. well like you were saying about the CGI, what helped right. balance that out is the amazing camera work. Oh yeah, I mean J.J. Abrams, he's got very different camera work than like that he directs. Uh, you know, it's not you can tell it's not George Lucas directing this. This movie is much more fast paced and everything. Like I know the originals were, but like this is even more fast paced. Yeah. Um, and they do like that's only a couple nitpick, couple nitpicks I have with the movie. Like sometimes it, it glosses over a few things that I felt like this should have been taking more time to sink in. Yeah. You know, but like other than that, like it's a really good movie. Like, 
If you can't be satisfied after watching this film... There's no need, satisfying you. Need you. To, you need to manage your expectations yeah. for movies in general, because it because this is one of the best movies i've seen in years but like don't like don't pretend it's a perfect movie because no yeah. movie's perfect obviously every movie's gonna have flaws but just go in and just enjoy a star wars movie yeah. you'll have a great time i think that the last movie that like had like i don't think any movies had this much hype or expectations built up around it yeah but like the last movie i've seen that like actually like lived up to the hype and even went beyond it a little bit was probably the avengers um so like in this one it does it it does the same thing like it lives up to the hype i'm glad i saw it I, it was it was really worth the wait um i don't know if like it was worth what 15 years <laughs> 15 year it was 15 year wait because i've been waiting for a good star wars movie since 1999 think about yeah. this film you'll never watch the pre if you like the prequels you'll never watch the prequels again with this in the same way because you'll yeah. realize how much better they could have been. Yeah. In a way, like, this made me kind of appreciate the prequels a little bit more, I guess. It's just like, cause, you know, I'm the kind of guy, like, I can see where they were going with the prequels. Oh, yeah. I definitely see the direction that George Lucas was going. Um, the big problem is, is that's like, you know... Just the execution. Yeah, the execution wasn't, wasn't that. There. Yeah. But, like, this is a... J.J. Abrams does a good job at, re at kickstarting franchises again. He did it with Star Trek. Um, if you like Star Trek, you're, you'll if you like any of his Star Trek movies, you'll definitely like this movie. Um, if you like Star Wars, you're gonna love this movie. Oh, I mean, no this movie, question. this movie's not just fan service either. It's not like you know, because like we live in an age, I think, of what I like to call redeemer sequels, like yeah. sequels that come along to try to kickstart a franchise that ended on a bad note, like Star Wars, Jurassic Park, and everything. And this is better. This is better than any of them because this is. On its own, it's still a really good movie. Yeah, this movie has its fair amount of nostalgia moments, like, and and that's a positive thing. And it, but but it, yeah, it didn't. It, it never. It never really was too much. They really did a good job on making sure, like, yeah, make give all the old Star Wars fans those good nostalgia moments, make you feel like a kid again, but not overdo it and not have it take away from the, the from building yeah. the story that you're trying to develop. But yeah, so. This movie was handled incredibly well in almost every aspect. Yeah, like I was, like I said, it lives up to the hype. I mean, it's just like, and for the amount of hype it had, I was shocked. I didn't think it would, but like, they had a great team behind it. They had great actors, great direction, great, you know, overall just great crew involved in making this movie. And I'm really happy that we got to see it in movie theaters. Um, this, I've been waiting, we three years we've been waiting for this three movie. Three years, man. Yeah, because I, I never thought we'd see a new Star Wars movie in the theaters. Um, you know, now we got Rogue One coming out next year, yeah. and then the year and then the year after that is a uh, is uh, Episode Eight. Yeah, episode eight. Yeah, which is like you know well, that's well, what, I, what I wonder is uh, it doesn't sound like J.J. Abrams will be directing anymore. Any I think he's done. He said he's done after this one. Yeah, so I'm like it doesn't bother me as much though because the original trilogy were directed by three different people. Oh yeah, I'm just saying as long as long as. Each next as episode eight and nine feel feel like feel the same as make me feel the way I felt about episode seven. I'll be more than satisfied with this trilogy. Yeah, um, people saying that this is like the best one since Empire Strikes Back, like even better than Return of the Jedi. I don't know about that. I mean, I love like maybe it's just because like I Return of the Jedi has a certain place in my heart because like I do love that one. Empire Strikes Back is obviously my favorite. Um, I could see that though, where some people would say it's better than Return of the Jedi, and that shows you how good it is. It's definitely yeah. it, it's definitely comparable to the originals. It where is. You can never it, say that about previous Star Wars yeah. films. Yeah, it does some things better than the originals too. Oh, yeah, like it cool. does. Um, but yeah, like that's really that's you know, that's all I have to say. I can't praise this movie anymore. Yeah, it was it was a fantastic movie. Get out and see it as fast as you can. Yeah, go see it. I mean, really, it's you gotta it's wait worth in line. It. It's worth it's, it. It's worth it. We w I waited for about four hours and about thirty eight degrees outside. It was, but it was worth it. And yeah, it I think I lost my job over going and seeing this movie. Like I just walked out of my. Out of I called place. in for my job today yeah. just so I could talk about this movie today. But. Yeah, like, as you guys know, I've been promising that I was going to review, like, all the Star Wars movies um, for my channel, but unfortunately, I've had camera trouble, like, you know, I haven't had a camera to work with for the past couple weeks, so I didn't get to get a lot of videos out that I wanted to, any drawings or anything like that. Um, I'm filming on his phone right now to shoot this video, unfortunately, so um, next week, 
I should have my new camera in the mail, and we'll just do Star Wars week next week. We will close out the year on Star Wars. What I'll do is I will do a quick, I don't have time to do like a huge epic Star Wars drawing like I planned on doing, so we'll do a quick drawing for Star Wars next week, and I will review the original trilogy, because that's where we started, and we're going to end on a positive note. Um, we got three more, we got two more movies, yeah. actually, well, we got like, we got Rogue One, Episode 8, and we got a Han Solo movie, and a Boba Fett movie, and then we got Episode 9, so yeah, we got a whole bunch of more Star Wars movies that are coming out over the next couple of years, they're like, they're coming, every year there's going to be a new Star Wars movie, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like we're gonna have so much Star Wars stuff. I'll have more times. Then we'll, we'll. I'll probably go over the prequels when those other movies come out. I'll also go over the Clone Wars and things like that. Um, it was just technical difficulties that set me back. I had a lot of things planned this week that I just didn't get to execute on time, unfortunately. But I did get to do a top ten epic Star Wars moment with uh, Joseph here on Hoops, uh, his channel Hoop Studio. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for his channel. So. Oh yeah, and uh, I'm gonna begin some new camera equipment for you soon and i'm planning on starting my own video reviews and things of thing and videos of that nature so if you guys want to start checking out my channel i got i make i do basketball mixes i do uh fan made trailers i so i'm just a huge fan I, I like to do a lot of things and if you guys enjoy any of that just feel free to check out my channel i should be getting video content within the next couple weeks going so if you guys want to check it out i appreciate it yeah, I mean, like, this is this movie is the reason we started doing YouTube. Um, yes, it is. Yeah, so, like, with everything that's coming out, like I said, I'll just do like, kind of like a Star Wars week next week. I'll finish my Rocky re I gotta do, like, two more Rocky reviews in Creed, and then I'll do top ten mo movies of the year. We'll close out this year, and hopefully everything will go a lot smoother next, uh, next year on my channel. I plan on producing a lot of great videos for you guys. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so I think that about wraps up. That right? wraps it up. Uh, look out for a spoiler talk too. That'll be coming out. Yeah, we'll make. They're we'll coming get out that very out soon. For sure. I definitely give it a two C because it's freaking Star it's, Wars. It, like even if it was bad, it would be a two C. Yeah. But this is. If it was bad, we'd give it a two C just for you to share on, our misery. On a scale of one to ten, this movie is an a, eleven. It's yeah. <laughs> Like, to put it in perspective for you, like it is not just your order. It, it, it is not a prequel Star Wars movie. This is a Star Wars movie. movie. Like now, I know how they felt when Episode Four came out in 1977. Like, yeah. Like, I woke up this morning feeling, I did. I, I watched Star Wars yesterday. We seen a new Star Wars movie. It's 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 an amazing feel. It's an amazing and strange feeling because now I just I, I just want I just want to see the next one. It's that it's that. That's all I can say about it. Yep. So that's it for us. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, we waste our money so you, you don't, don't have to. to. <laughs> Thanks for watching. There's only one thing left to do, guys. May the force be with you. <laughs> always. <laughs>